FW120M is a two gallon per minute water purifier in a rugged transport case. I'm going to show you the basic operation and maintenance procedures. Inside the case you'll find your accessories including your intake and outlet hose, 12 volt power cord adapter, hose nozzle, intake hose adapter, intake silt screen, as well as a spare UV lamp and quartz sleeve and replacement filters. The first step in getting the system running is finding your intake hose and deciding if you need the inlet silt screen to pull from a standing water source or the hose adapter if you're connecting to a hose bib or other building supply. The other end of the hose connects to the inlet fitting. Simply insert the hose into the fitting and press firmly. Your clean water outlet hose has a quick connect fitting on one end and a garden hose thread on the other. Slide back the sleeve on the quick connect and firmly press the fitting into place. Attach the hose nozzle to the opposite end. Power to the system is supplied by either the internal 12 volt battery or an external 120 volt power supply. Turn the system on, open the hose nozzle, and give the system a minute to fill with water. During operation, the system can be turned on and off by simply opening and closing the valve. Inside the case, you'll find the UV lamp, UV control box with operation indicator light, control panel, the power switch to turn the system on and off, as well as a momentary toggle to check the charge level of the battery. A 12 volt battery charge port, circuit breakers, voltage indicator that shows the charge level of the battery, which should run at 12 volts, an auxiliary light switch, water inlet, water outlet, and two toggle screws to remove the filter assembly. After operation, remove your intake hose from the water source and open the hose nozzle until all the water flows from the system. Lift the unit up slightly to drain the UV lamp. When water stops flowing, turn the system off and remove your components. The outlet hose disconnects by pulling back on the quick connect sleeve and removing the hose. The inlet hose disconnects by pushing back the collar and pulling firmly out. After the accessories are dried, you can restore them in the lid of the case. To change filters, remove the filter housing assembly by unscrewing the two thumb nuts. And lifting the entire assembly straight out of the case. Set to the side and disconnect the power cord. Remove each of the filter canisters. And discard the used filters. Drain, rinse, and dry the filter housings.
Insert your new filters flowing from left to right. The first canister is a sediment filter. The second canister, carbon. And the third, zeonic virus media. Filters need to be replaced whenever your flow rate diminishes or before long-term storage. Insert your new filter into the canister and check that the O-ring is in place and well lubricated before reinstalling on the filter housing. To replace the UV lamp or quartz sleeve, first remove the filter housing assembly from the case. Slide the retaining pin back from the UV socket and pull away. Unplug the UV lamp, set the socket to the side, and remove the bulb. To replace the quartz sleeve, unscrew both black end caps and push the sleeve out to one side, being sure to hold on to each O-ring. If the UV assembly has broken glass from a broken quartz sleeve, lift up on one side and use a hose to flush the canister out. The replacement quartz sleeve and UV lamp are located in the case. Reinstall the quartz sleeve by inserting into the chamber and guiding into place with your opposite finger. Reset both O-rings. Install the black cap with a hole on the end closest to the pump and the cap with a spring away from the pump. Tighten hand tight. Reinsert your UV lamp. Reconnect the socket and set the retaining pin.